So in this video we're going to explore this concept called shortest distance. Um, and it states, uh, given a line L1 and a point P not on the line, um, what is the shortest distance between them? So if I treat this uh, straight edge as the line and my hamster buttercup as the point, and uh, I think of this as a, a scenario where this straight edge uh, means a safety, and little buttercup is in danger and peril and needs to get to safety. Well, little buttercup will go directly to safety. Buttercup is not going to go this direction here, right? It takes way too long. It's a great distance. Nor is buttercup going to be meandering around. Buttercup is going to go directly straight towards safety. And so what I have to think about is, well, what does that go directly towards safety mean in geometry? And well, it means the perpendicular distance. So if I want to just kind of, uh, just sort of test this out a little bit, and I think of this straight edge as some other distance from P to the line, well, I see that the straight edge and this perpendicular distance and the line create a little right triangle where this distance here is the hypotenuse. And if I remember, and I could just, you know, make longer and longer lines, or shorter and shorter lines, right? If I remember from the Pythagorean theorem that the hypotenuse of the right triangle is the longest side. And so that means that this perpendicular distance is gonna be shorter than any of these non-perpendicular distances, which takes us to the one conjecture we have for this video, and it's called the shortest distance conjecture. The shortest distance conjecture says that the shortest distance from a point to a line is measured along the perpendicular segment from the point to the line. And this conjecture is stated more like a definition than a conditional statement, so there's not really a, a converse for us to really think about. But we do have this question here. Can we construct this perpendicular distance? So the construction we're really trying to make is uh, we have a given line and a point not on the line, and we want to construct a line that is perpendicular to the given line through that point P. And the way we do that is to use conjecture C6. And if you don't remember what C6 uh, was, I don't blame you, uh, it is the converse of the perpendicular bisector theorem or conjecture. And it states that if I have uh, a point that is equidistant uh, from two endpoints of a line segment, then that point has to be on the perpendicular bisector. So uh, I'm, I need to find two points on this line that will be equidistant from point P. And if I can do that, then this construction is basically the perpendicular bisector construction with one extra step. So here I have uh, my line and my point P, and I want to construct uh, the perpendicular uh, to line one that goes through point P. And uh, I need to find two points that will act as endpoints to a line segment that I can gen then find the perpendicular bisector of. And this is actually quite easy. All I have to do is uh, set my compass radius so that it is longer than the distance between the point and the line. And the reason why I want to do that is because I want to find those two endpoints. And so if I put my compass point at point P and I swing the arc to find the intersection point between the line and that distance, I'm going to get two points that are equidistant from P. And these are the two points that I am going to use as endpoints to the line segment that is going to uh, be, that I'm going to find the perpendicular bisector of. So I need to adjust my radius now so that I get this distance here. And then I'm going to have to remember how to construct a perpendicular bisector, and that means to swing the arcs, right? I need to swing an arc. Uh, and instead of just swinging the whole arc, I know I want it to, one and one point in the line to be point P. So I'm just gonna swing 
the arcs down here below point P to find the intersection point of those two arcs. Right? I did that very lightly, sorry. And this point here, which is the intersection of those two arcs, is the point I need to pair up with point P to construct my perpendicular line. And so then this line is perpendicular to line one through point P. Steps to this construction. The first thing I want to do is I want to put my uh, pointy end of the compass on the point P and I want to then set a radius that is longer than that distance so that when I swing the arc I hit line one twice and then I actually make those two markings and then I have two points from those intersections and then I'm going to construct the perpendicular bisector of the line segment created by those two points and in the end your construction marks should look something like this. Now the question that I have for you uh, before next class is for you to think about uh, can I do this same sort of construction finding a perpendicular line to another line but instead of the point being off the line can I do it when the point is on the line or can I construct that perpendicular when that point is an endpoint of a ray